Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are new to PowerPoint, you may be wondering what a keyboard shortcut is. A keyboard shortcut lets you press a combination of keyboard characters to execute a command function instead of clicking a button in the ribbon or in the quick access toolbar. While you may never use them, many users who type significant amounts of text find it tiresome to always have to reach for their mouse. These users may favor keyboard shortcuts instead, as keyboard shortcuts let them perform many command functions while keeping their hands on the keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts typically involve holding down either the Control or Alt key on your keyboard and then entering another keystroke or set of keystrokes. You then release the Control or Alt key. If available, the Control key keyboard shortcuts are shown in the small pop-up windows that appear when you hold your mouse pointer over some command functions shown in the ribbon. Not every command function has a corresponding control key keyboard shortcut, however. For commands that do not have a control key keyboard shortcut, you can use the Alt key to enable the key badge system in PowerPoint. You can then use the key badge system to enter a sequence of keystrokes. To use the key badge system in PowerPoint, press the Alt key on your keyboard to display a set of key badges next to the various objects in the ribbon and the quick access toolbar. Then press the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the command function that you wish to show. Continue pressing the corresponding key badges until you press the key badge for the command function you want to execute. If you happen upon a drop-down menu when entering key badges, or your key badge work opens up a dialog box, don't worry. You can execute a command shown in a dialog box or in a drop-down menu by looking to see if the command function you want to execute has an underlined letter in its name. If it does, simply press the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter. That's the same thing as pressing a corresponding keyboard key when you see a key badge. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to highlight a choice, and then press the Enter key on your keyboard to accept a highlighted choice. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.